Welcome to my video. Just to let you know, I have no financial interest. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. Planning the incisions. I usually begin with the photosynthesis. And according to the astigmatism and the position of the eye, we can plan the incision either temporal or superior. Tripan blue is a valuable tool to visualize your rexes. I usually start superiorly or sub incisional. And make sure always the AC is deep by putting the cystitome on the OVD cannula and injecting every two to three hours. You try to keep your distance from the iris equal. You always keep the flap under the cystitome. Then with the hydroid dissection cannula, go under the capsule and inject in the equator and see the wave to come anteriorly. And by depressing the nucleus, you can make sure that the wave is complete. I prefer doing divide and conquer. usually do the groove till you see the red reflex as shown in the video and then you can use the chopper to divide these two halves first and then you rotate the nucleus Divide every half into two. And you can see the parameters for the quadrant removal. I increase the vacuum and the aspiration flow rate. And with the last piece, make sure that the chopper is out to keep the entry chamber deep and to avoid any injury to the posterior capsule. Make sure you are going with the irrigation. 
first and then the aspiration and going outside the NT chamber you have to keep the irrigation at the end to avoid capturing the posterior capsule and if any capsule opacity you can use the hydro dissection cannula to remove it injecting OVD to implant the intraoperative lens Pressing on the optic haptic junction to make the trailing haptic go inside the bag, then removing the viscoelastic from under the intraocular lens and from the NT chamber, and make sure that your rexis is covering the optic of the lens and make sure the cannula that you are using for hydration is well fitted to avoid any catastrophe at the end of the surgery then injecting the antibiotic and making sure the anterior chamber is formed thank you for watching